Hi there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another episode of Mixed Media Mayhem. Today we are scrap lifting uh, the awesome and talented Nicole Santos and this awesome layout. I really like that it has all that those bright colors and then um, that those pops of black uh, behind it, or I mean in front of the colors. I think it looks really cool. So I started out with this ice cream stencil. Um, instead of triangles she's or diamonds she's got diamonds on hers i'm using ice cream because uh, i am going to be using some photos of noah eating ice cream uh, i do a lot of ice cream layouts i feel like but uh, we love ice cream in this house and i think it's a lot of fun so anyway i am using uh some white picket fence studio paper glaze to create my ice cream and then I'm going to use some Catherine Pooler ink in Serenade and Sparkling Berry. I was really going for a kind of periwinkle purple or periwinkle blue color um, and this was the closest I had in an ink. Uh, I did not have a very good periwinkle color in um, well, it's a good periwinkle color in my shimmers, but it's not, it wasn't as bold. And so I was going for a little bit more bold than what I actually even got. So um, it is what it is. I actually really like the way the layout came out. It does look more pastel than I was hoping. Um, I was hoping for pops of those really bright colors, just like she's got. But I do like the way that it turned out in the end. So my paper is not gessoed at all. I do have it taped down so that it minimizes the amount of warping. Um, I do end up with a little bit of warping on this one because I got in a hurry and I take it, took it off the board a little bit quicker than I probably should have. And I am just using those inks uh, smushed down on my acrylic block and picking them up with a wet paintbrush. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Catherine Pooler ink in Tiara. And I did that because I want kind of that yellowy orange color uh, because that's what's in the photos and so I'm pulling from that as well. The pink I added just because um, his skin tones and his lips were really pink and then the ice cream is that periwinkle color so I'm just pulling my colors from the photos. I'm not worried about the middle of the layout because that's all going to be covered with photos so that's not anything that I am concerned about. I will also put links down below to all of the products that I am using and uh, just a heads up, I do use affiliate links. So that means if you click and purchase through that link, I do get a very small um, commission off of that. And so it is required that I tell you that. And uh, if you also see the paid promotion label on my video, it is because of that. It's not because I got paid to do this video. Um, everything I do is free. I only make a small commission if you click that link. So I hope that is not um, bothersome to you guys if that label is on the video. I also wanted to check. I recently changed my desk. I actually just took the self-healing mat that had the grid on it off of my Caterpillar Glow. And um, I did that because the grid was worn uh, worn off a bit and it was getting really hard to keep it clean and so I took it off and I really like the very white look but I wanted to know if you guys thought that there was too much glare if you think there's too much glare I will work to rectify that situation but um, I did want to ask you if you guys thought there was too much glare from the lighting up above so if you could let me know that in the comments I would really really appreciate it um, the Nuvo stuff that I pulled out there on the right hand side and actually the bottle on the left hand side as well. I just was testing that on one of the black diamonds to see if I wanted to add any, add any mixed media to that. I was thinking I really liked the periwinkle color that is in the Nuvo one, um, which is actually called Tanzanite Lavender. But what happens when you put it on the black is all of the glitter shows up, which is like an iridescent green, and the actual periwinkle doesn't show up at all. So that was a no-go. And then I pulled out the pink one, which is actually Nouveau Glacier Paste, and it's called Mambo Melon. Um, and it's bright pink, and the pink shows, but it's got a lot of silver in it. And it, it just wasn't doing it for me. 
Um, I didn't want to actually bring in a lot of pink. I was hoping more for the purple colors, uh, but I did try it. I gave it, I gave it the good old college try and I opted not to. Uh, the one that's on the left hand side is a Nouveau Sparkle Spray called Lavender Lining. And it's very periwinkle looking as well. But again, uh, the color didn't show up nearly as much as the silver. And so I just decided not to do any of them because I felt like it was dulling the black. I want that black to be really crisp and bold. And it was making it less than crisp and bold. So I opted not to do them, but that's what I was holding up there. And that's what I was trying out. I did pop my photos all up onto some foam tape. And I am just using the cheap foam from Walmart. It is adhesive backed on one side. And um, then I am also just uh, popping up all of those black diamonds. And I really like the dimension that it gives. And there again, I am trying out those colors. You can see the really green one. That's actually the one that looks purple all the way far right on your screen. Um, yeah, it, they just weren't working for me. And you can kind of see how it, it makes your black a little bit less black. It's more it's more dulled down. Um, it's really sparkly and it's really pretty stuff. It just wasn't great in this application. <clears throat> so I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to adhere my photos down and I highly recommend using uh, a liquid glue. If, if not, if this isn't your favorite glue, that's okay. It is my favorite glue, um, liquid glue that is, but uh, I do recommend using a liquid glue to hold your layout or your your um, photos and uh, ephemera and all of that stuff down on top of mixed media. Um, glue dots or zots also work, but tape runner doesn't work great. It tends to just pop right off. So um, to be on the safe side and to make sure that my layouts all stay together, I do use quite a bit of Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. I like it because it comes out really fine. It doesn't clog very easily, especially if I just lay it on its side like it is there. It doesn't drip out of the bottle and um, it doesn't clog easily. So I am just using my acrylic block there to hold everything down while the liquid glue just sets up just a bit. It doesn't take it very long. It dries relatively quickly and it is uh, drying clear and matte so uh, you don't have a lot of shine on your layout. So I'm pretty happy with that. I also did take some time to stitch around my layout. Um, that's something I do frequently on layouts that have a white background, I either stitch around them or I frame them with a small border of another colored cardstock or black cardstock, or sometimes I do some sketchy lines, but I do really just like them framed somehow because otherwise I feel like everything's kind of about to float off the page. I don't know if that's just like a weird thing in my mind or if that happens to you too, but I feel like it just kind of finishes the layout off. I have I have a couple that I have not done anything on, but um, those ones tend to have like a lot of white space all the way um, out to the edges, whereas this one is colored, but then um, it looks like the color is like going all the way to the edge, so it would like float off the page or something. I don't know. It could be my weird madness. <laughs> um, if it doesn't bother you, then don't stitch or or um, frame your layout. But for me, I just like it. I think it has a nice finished edge. I did use my T-square ruler to kind of make sure that those diamonds were somewhat vertical. Um, I didn't do it on everyone. I just did it on like the first couple that I started with on the right hand side. But uh, I thought it was kind of funny because then I was like, oh, I'm just not going to not going to worry about it in all the other places. And they could definitely be uh, less than vertical. Um, I'm not really sure. So with all of these being popped up, I, um, in order to tuck them under, like that first diamond had no problem tucking under, but you are going to see that um, one of my other diamonds that I'm going to put right underneath the photos, I end up trimming the diamond off just to make it look like it's tucked in because it was hitting the foam underneath the photograph. So I couldn't actually tuck it in. So little shortcuts that you have to take here and there. So go and check out all of the other um, people playing along with Mixed Media Mayhem. The list is down below in my description box. Um, I'm really curious to see what they choose. And I'm, I just really love this layout from Nicole. So Nicole, thank you for the inspiration piece and um, 
Thank you for creating some, something so lovely. So here's where you see I'm just trimming off this diamond. I trim it multiple times, trying not to cut it too short. Better to cut it a little bit at a time than to cut too much off. And then I'm going to just put in some of these little tiny diamonds. Uh, the diamonds, I cut those on my Silhouette Cameo. The largest one is two and a half inches, and I just went down in um, size from there. I didn't really measure. Um, I think I... You know, it might be two and a half to one and a half. I, I didn't really like measure specifically. And I just cut a whole bunch of them and I not really real or uh, not really counting how many I was going to need. So then I was trying to figure out which title I was going to use. I thought I was going to use that you are loved, but I decided just to use Noah's name. Um, that is a custom piece I bought um, quite some time ago over at Redefined Creative back when she uh, had some an offering for some custom pieces and um, so I'm happy to get that on the page I like that it's black and uh, pretty much everything in the photo is you know that black yellow or that purple color but um, my title is just Noah and then on that little tab that I cut the tab was cut with a die from close to my heart again I'll put that link down below and um, on the tab, I'm just going to write that Noah, it'll say Noah loves his ice cream. This time it was cotton candy. So um, it is cotton candy flavor that he's eating. And then I pulled out a whole bunch of different sequins, most of which are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. I don't know that all of them are from Spiegel Mom Scraps. This particular pack is, but I am going to pull out a couple more packs because I'm just putting a variety of purples on there. Um basically because I wanted different sizes and different shades and different transparencies. Some are um, really transparent and others are very opaque. So um, that is why I chose to use different sized ones. I'm using a crystal katana to uh, apply the sequins. It's been a really great tool to have. I used to use a, uh, a jewel picker and now I've tried the Crystal Katana and I do like it much better. It works a lot easier and the um, waxy black tip of it is replaceable. I've not, not had to replace mine and I've been using it for quite some time now, but it is replaceable if it does get worn down um, and it's really easy to get the adhesive off because it's wax and so you can kind of just, I just rub it on my jeans and pop the adhesive off, adhesive off and it's not a problem. Um, if you're wondering what I stuck Noah's name down with, I used a combination of glue dots uh, and some liquid adhesive. So the really thin areas, I just put the liquid adhesive on. And then some of the wider areas, I used the glue dots to hold it in place. Because I kind of feel like with the acrylic not being flexible, it would pop, probably pop off of the layout if I just used the Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. So not only is it not flexible, but it's also not porous. So the liquid glue really just sits on top of it and there's a chance that it could pop off. The glue dots hold a lot better because they are so sticky, um, but you can't really get the glue dots behind those really, really thin lines. So I feel like a combination of the two works really well. So here I am using a different set of sequins. These ones are super old. These are probably uh, at least eight to 10 years old and they've been in my stash for quite a while. I got them at Expo and they were from Nicole Peterson. Um, and I, so I, I don't even, you can't get them anymore. I'm sure. <laughs> um, I haven't been to Expo in quite a while, but you know, these are probably eight to 10 years old. So I'm sure that mix doesn't, doesn't exist anymore. So I, I do like though that there is some really tiny purple ones in there and then I have this little baggie of tiny tiny hearts and so I'm pulling out the purple ones and I'm tucking in a couple of purple ones into each one of those um, clusters of black diamonds and then I will pull one of them and put it on the tab that is on the picture right below his name and I thought that tab was a nice place to uh, a light a nice finishing touch there because there was some blank space right underneath his name and I kind of felt like it was 
it's not really trapped white space, but it looked like it needed something there. And I could have just written on the layout right there, but um, I decided the tab would be nicer and I could just write on the tab. So that is my layout. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love a thumbs up and I thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. Don't forget to check out everyone else who is playing along and um, give them a little bit of love. We will be back next week with another Mixed Media Mayhem on Friday. Bye-bye.